Okay, so here's a little bit of a insight to our 10 year old's bedroom. Temporarily set up when we moved in here. Um, not a big fan of carpet at all, but when you're renting, you've just got to put up with it. But the great thing about what we do is we can recreate this space and make it look fabulous without doing any damage to the actual property itself. So, okay, let the transformation begin. All in a day's work. Come on, Chucky. Some stuff here that was going to the tip, literally, and we pulled them up, put it at home, looked at it for a couple of weeks and said, what can we do? If it doesn't go within four weeks, we've got a little scenario that we chop it up and use it for firewood, but it still gets used, but it won't. Nothing's gone yet. We're going to build a, a little bed and a little place that, area for our 10 year old. Again, this is not the play area. Um, that's going to turn into a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a lot of lucky love that we have, which is quite creative. We're going to make a little, um, I guess, floating Thank bed. You. tool down. I'll leave that behind. Uh, I just want to show you three pieces are put together the sides. Uh, I had to cut the length of these boards. That's the only thing the cut I have done which is the length of a single bed. The width is just over a, or just under a meter. So I'm spreading the two boards that I have here just at a meter. So it will uh, suit the single mattress and the width is 1950 I believe. And if I do say I have a matching tape here mattresses, I think it's a smidge over 1900, measure yours or what you're using to be precise, but hey, sometimes I've built these things and haven't even used one of these. So I just want to show you that's what it is, just to tack together now while we grind and sand and paint, pull it apart, bring it back inside. So we're only up to less than five minutes work. See I'll show you a little bit of belt sanding before I tell you some other little trick. <laughs> It's no fun in this, but what I wanted to say was I've just tacked this other one in. The offcuts that came from that, as I told you before, a little bit long. Oh, not that long. Long. So, without cutting these again, just again a little creative side of. I thought we might put these at the back. That one's going to fit in there. It's got a little footstool piece up uh, there, but you won't see that when the mattress goes in. Is that right? Oh, Get rid of that there it goes that. Around that way, actually. That would be Upside another down, great idea. Around. Is Eventually just while we're doing this, um, little bookshelf. So turn that around yeah. so it's got the little pocket on yeah. the other side. He is yeah, a bit of a reading in that side. Yeah, we'll so you can do one this one. way and one as a, because the mattress is probably going to go about yay oh, height, yeah, so you. it'll cover this bit. Uh -huh. But this one here. Could you t mm. twist that around? Oh, yeah. just, say, just, just have a think about it. Be creative. But you could put it that yeah. way, but it's higher than the top. Yeah. So I'm going to say keep it down here yeah. and possibly raise that one. Yeah. Or See what you come we turn up with. it up. Yeah. And there you go. There you go. So that's yeah. the same height oh. there. Looking that one can be aesthetically nice. The same height, we might even raise it there. Mattress mm -hmm. will cover all that, and you won't see it all. Mm. Anyway, that was a bit of the sanding I want to show you, and less cuts is better. Time's up to we're not even 10 minutes at this point. Okay. This was not the little one got to bring the pinky. Still haven't shot a shot yet, but um, as I said before, we've got some leftovers with the uh, spaceship and we thought put a seat underneath. Again, there's only one cut, so I got my little stools out and another one of these uh, planks that were holding the bed together. So I grabbed another one, cut it at the same length as the top, fold him in, we've changed the little footstool piece at the other end, the off cut to it, so a young fella can do his homework and the dugong, come on, Daisy, up you come, come on, up you 
up here. Come and do some homework. And up lucky. Again. Come on. And lucky. Up again. And lucky. Lucky's always get lucky. Daisy. Uh, so I'm going to put this off cut piece underneath here. And probably put a little couple of little hanging chains here. So he can put his ruler and whatnot in. So yeah, homework spot. His window's out that side there. Screw it. A bit more sanding and I'm bringing in my better half. She's on the other side of that camera and show you how we do our painting. I told you not to play with that before. Pink's not your colour, it's red. So I had to sand the bottom seat there. So I just told her and she said, oh, where do you want me to go? I said, just get out of my way. So up she jumped. Hey, you're a good girl, aren't you? Shake hands, shake hands. Yeah, high five. Come on down from here, right back. Come on. I got you. I was just a little puppy you. dog. <laughs> the lap dog. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Oh, oh, sorry guys. Yeah, no, it's a little fun part that uh, everyone loves to do. A little bit of painting. So, sorry I forgot to remind you what we were doing. This is just the fun stuff, you know. And you get so much fun, you just want to give to someone else to do and pass the buck. Thank you. There you are. Pass the buck or pass the brush? Pass the buck, pass the brush. Anyway, here's my beautiful wife and she always loves a paintbrush. And I do more. love a paintbrush. Not painting. I like to. St oh, sorry. Should, can I walk, walk and talk and work and paint? Yeah. Um, even our paint, we've been fortunate enough oh. that um, that's even been given to us from a lovely Gold Coast paint company. So that saw what we were doing and thought these guys do something with nothing, yep. and they were taking their paints to the tip, which you can't just tip out. It's got to be in a special bins and whatnot. So it got passed on quite quickly and used quite quickly. And my little painter. And nothing she knows goes how to... to waste at all. Oh, tired, sleeping on the job. It's a dog's life. Yes. Hey, here's the life. Sorry, baby cakes. What have you been doing? So we've we've literally slapped on the paint. This has taken it's longer. Just an undercoat, okay? And it has taken longer it to has, put the yeah, put build the together. The build. We're up to about 15 to 20 minutes. So with these spray packs, easy, quick, cheap, effective. Um, they get into all the little nooks and crannies, plus they also work well when you're standing back. <laughs> and they're fun! And they're fun! <laughs> um, get them at any good hardware store. With ID, of yes, course. with ID. I, ID. 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 That's a good idea. So, um, yeah, so use these. And Show me what you can do with it. Wow. Mix it up. Mix it up. Yeah. I'm just going to just get a bit of coverage on, so this is going to be part of the artwork. Uh, entry piece when you... Is that a thing. surprise? I mentioned it already, he wants a spaceship. Uh, no, he wants a pig with a top hat. Right. So okay. I've got a series of characters that I'm working on for him, so he'll be pretty well What's, I'm impressed anyway. I like the reserve. The reserve can. Oh yeah. Back up. <laughs> that one that one's got it's like your, um, I'll put that back. Oh before you go though, and yeah. I'll prime these up for a little bit of shelving. So again, grey primer and then you can use any colour you want on top of that. So watch Pink? this space. Yes, why not? Love our pink. Back to sleep, dogs. Must advise you to be in a well ventilated area if you're going to be using spray packs. Five and a half acres will do it. Every time. Uh, yeah, and recommend a mask too. Not all. Not a dress up mask. I'm going to lie. We've been mucking around, even though we said we're going to show you what we can do in 30 minutes. We've been mucking around here for about 20 minutes, but this is all the fun stuff when it comes to painting. Uh, add more or less, whatever you want to do. Fun box, I was going to show you about a fun box. It all starts with here. A box that we ended up calling it the junk box, which ended up being fun. Reason being, we said one day we're going to use all these things and it's going to do something and it'd be fun. Things going to have Hence no the idea. name fun box. Fun box? Yes. yes, yes, yes. Things in a box Rubbish that are fun. That you, you know, like they were thrown out, but things that we haven't done anything with for a long time. Old cups and old light. Mini toys, little carve out way, an old. You're not thing. a hoarder at all, are you? Yeah, no, a bit no, like that. No. But okay. it, it's all fun check. because it turns into this is just nothing. Brought over a few things as well as the fun box and went, hey, let's create something. Because we're doing the young fella's room. He's in the. Piglets, pigs, piglets, piglets. pink, police. He's going to be a policeman when he grows up. So, not saying that, that's it's full stop and he yes. would like to be a policeman. Yes, so he's said, an, he upholds the do law. Do right, 
and you won't spend time behind bars. All right, so this is not a setup. I haven't cut or anything. It is a bit short, so we can either split the difference, add it there. Go kart. I've had this for ages. Bought it from the dump shop. Twenty bucks or something. I think fifteen. Fair enough. Never really it. worked. We were going to fix it. But... Yeah, we had a couple of days. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking, as much as we already got the bench seat in here, mm. another seat. That's tall to do his homework oh, on. This project we is just rock, taking on a mind of its own we now. We rock this in here. The boy's rock. name is Rock. His name's he Rock. Rocks. That's cool. Uh, so we'll like put that. this in here, turn it on an angle, whatever way it works to get it cosy. That would make learning fun. That'll make learning mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. Right. All right, mm -hmm. so do your homework and you won't spend life behind bars. But there's more. It's functional too, because it becomes the ladder to get up to the bed. A little S M uh, store back seat of a old chair fell off, kept it back because it'll turn into a fun box. Um, oh, we were thinking maybe a shade, like maybe put his disco ball or a police light underneath here. But that's not happening yet. Plan B was as much as these are at a level and they're not straight yet. It's not until we go in the room and we put it all together. TB. That's obviously TB. 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 Temporary bracing. His homework little desk here. We turned it around so we could put a little shelf in here. <laughs> shelf. So, just happens to be close to, but you make it work. You make it work, go back to that little shelf under there. Right. We've got a little bit carried away with our painting. Whole so, concept's changed now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From pigs We're going to the cop shop. Oh. <laughs> going away from the pigs. But we've got a little bit of pink in here. Um, but yeah, look, we get a little bit excited. That's what I'm saying. You just get into it. Um, so now it's probably been since the last time we've been on and off. I know we're at our 20 minutes for you watching, but we're probably at two hours since you last went on. But we've been mucking around with colours and concepts. But it's got some wow factor. But I want to show you something, my little favourite tool of the year. compared to the belt sander just pulls through about, I don't know, layers of uh, the paint but with the belt sander you're going to cut through them all and not see the, the layers so it's got a nice Another effect. A nice effect. Okay. We managed to get the bed in yesterday, artwork still got a little bit of that to go. I'm going to maybe put a little step in down there where he can keep his shoes and put his shoes on. Um, possibly like a little rewards chart on there as well and ta da there's the bed she's up um, we're still working on a few things but we've got the light on under there so he can move that around it's on a, a rod so that can slide along wherever he wants it to great little bits of storage for books skateboards hats pens pencils anything to get creative what we decided on was to put a little floating floor in here by using just um, ply covered pallets. So we'll do a section of floor in there and cover it with a rug and then pop a little floating day bed off that side. So cantilever that off. We had a set of drawers in here, but they were kind of falling apart because all the chipboard was a bit water damaged. So I've pulled the fronts off those and I've used them on another piece, which I'm working on and you'll see later. But I'm thinking this one will become like a wardrobe slash locker type thing so he can hang his stuff in there as well. Uh, what else have we got? Well, the sun's out, which means what time? So let's get creative again. Day two, we'll see what we can get through and hopefully finish up this room today. See you soon.